Hi everyone. For today's set of notes, we're going to be looking at the last of the five themes of geography, what is movement. So you're going to need a pencil, a blank piece of paper, and a highlighter. And once again, like we've done in the past, go ahead and fold the left-hand side of your paper over to the right-hand margin. And then let's go ahead and title our notes, what is movement. and then draw our line right down where we folded. On the left-hand side of our paper, we'll go ahead and write the focus question. What is movement? And on the right-hand side, we're going to write down the definition. Movement is how people, objects, and ideas get from one place to another. And then using your highlighter, you're going to highlight some key terms. I'm going to underline them. People, objects, ideas, from, to. That's what we're looking at for movement. Now, movement answers four basic questions. And whenever you do movement in this class and also in U.S. History next year with Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Vo, you need to answer all four questions of movement. The first one is, who or what was moved? The second one, from where? The third, To where? And then the fourth question, how did it move? And then using your highlighter, let's go ahead and highlight. I'm going to underline some key words. Movement answers four questions. Who or what was moved? From where? To where? And how? Now you have to be careful with movement because in the past a lot of students concentrate only on question number four, how did it move? So they'll say something like it moved by camels or boats or they moved by foot. But the problem is in order to answer the question what is movement, you have to answer all four questions in your answer. And in this class you're going to need to draw and label your pictures so that I know that you know what was moved. Now the second part to movement is the question of what is diffusion? And diffusion is when people, objects, and ideas are adopted or adapted into a new culture. once again, taking your highlighter, I'm going to underline some of the key words for diffusion. People, objects, ideas, adapted, I'm sorry, adopted and adapted. 
So when we look at movement, you're not only just looking at who or what was moved from where to where and how, but you'll also need to look at how it was adopted or adapted into the new culture. Sometimes it's adopted as is with little to no change. And then other times it's actually adapted where there's a change to it, someone's put a new twist on it and made it their own. So we're gonna take an example that I'm sure quite a few of you are familiar with. So you need to draw along with me. Our example goes with spaghetti. And so in looking at the movement and diffusion of spaghetti, we need to identify who or what was moved from where to where and how. And the best way to represent movement is to draw a map. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a map of the continents of Europe, Africa, and Asia. So here's Spain, Italy, Africa, Arabia, India, China. And then we'll go ahead and label the various areas. We have Europe, Africa, Arabia, which is the area that we were just studying. And then we're going to go ahead and label China and Chinese because we can. And we might as well label India on the map. Now, spaghetti comes from the country of Italy, but spaghetti actually originated through something that was created by the Chinese. Noodles. Now, noodles uh, traveled from China all the way to Europe. Now, whether that was taken, taken as noodles itself or maybe the idea of how to make it, whatever the case is, it moved via the Silk Road all the way to Europe. Now, in movement, you're going to need to always put some type of arrow so that I can tell from where and to where. So I'm drawing an arrow from China to Europe, and I'm going to go ahead and label it the Silk Road. Now, how did it move across the Silk Road? Well, most likely by uh, merchants traveling in camel caravans. Now, once noodles got all the way over to Italy, uh, the Italians didn't just eat noodles the way that the Chinese did. They actually adapted the idea of noodles by adding meat sauce and other kinds of vegetables into the noodles itself, and then they called it spaghetti. Now, let's go ahead and label Italy here. That is the boot. And then we also, now we need to draw the actual change in noodles, which is when it was adapted into spaghetti. So you can see from this example here that movement is not just the how, but it's the who or what was moved from where and to where. And in this picture here, um, I also labeled everything and drew it. And this is really what I expect you guys to be able to do when you identify movement. For your homework tonight, you're going to be looking at the movement of Buddhism from where it started to where it went, how did it move. So Buddhism is going to be the who or what was moved for each of your examples for homework tonight. Okay, good luck.